Good morning and welcome to the Angel Friedman Show. I'm your host, Angel Friedman. And on today's show, I'd like to introduce Terry Lynn Young and Linda Madigan, both franchise owners of a new company called Premier Mobility and Health Products. Both Linda and Terry Lynn are registered nurses turned entrepreneurs. Both ladies saw a, co a community in need and felt they wanted to make a difference. Therefore, last April took the plunge and started making a difference in people's lives. My guests, Terry Lynn Young and Linda Madigan, are N's owner of Premier Mobility, Central York Region, and Durham. Their website is www.premiermobility.ca. Welcome, ladies. So nice to have you here. Thank you. Thank you. So why don't we start talking about how this all started? Okay. So just a little bit of background. Um, I... Uh, my name is Linda Madigan, by the way. <laughs> and first of all, Angel, we'd both like to thank you for having us on the show today. It's uh, it's a great way to get the word out about Premier Mobility and healthcare products, and we really appreciate it. My background is community nursing. I uh, became a VON or Victorian Order of Nurse directly from school, and uh, fell in love with community nursing. Um, I just felt there was such a difference to go into a person's home to do a one-on-one -on -one nursing care and uh, like I said absolutely fell in love with it and uh, during my time as a VON nurse I um, became a certified palliative care nurse too and was a very rewarding job. Um, just recently, just before uh, I purchased uh, Premier Mobility, uh, I was a uh, nurse manager in uh, the community as well. So there's a real, uh, you know, common thread with the community. And that's where I met Terry Lynn. And uh, her and I had a connection right off the bat. And just, uh, I guess it was uh, the end of last year, beginning of this year, um, we just were a little bit, um, I guess restless we wanted to do something different and Terry Lynn came to me in January and asked me about uh, you know would I be interested in purchasing our own company called Premier Mobility and it just seemed such a natural fit for us and so um, we took the plunge as we said and uh, the rest is history and uh, haven't looked back. Nice. So, so Terry Lynn um, yes, I have well, a similar story, but uh, I've been a registered nurse over 10 years now. I, however, started in the eMERGE room, so trauma nursing, and I loved it. Um, I left there because I started a family, mm -hmm. and I went to the community, uh, which is where I met Linda, and I was managing PSWs, um, loved it. Uh, that's where my passion for seniors and mm -hmm. keeping them in their homes uh, was born, and Basically, yeah, I was restless. I needed to do more. I saw an opportunity. I saw a community in need and uh, seniors falling through the cracks. Mm -hmm. And so I knew that if I wanted to do more, that I had to leave my job. And so, yeah, I approached Linda and said, mm -hmm. should we do it? <laughs> and uh, yeah, so we started last April. And uh, yeah, the rest is history. <laughs> we haven't looked back and uh, we're having the time of our life. Yeah. So like, let, Now for our viewers that don't understand what a PSW is, could you mm -hmm. explain that? A personal support worker. So these are uh, people that would go into, mm -hmm. say, a senior's home and do uh, help with bathing, right. help mm -hmm. with cleaning, meal preparation, mm -hmm. uh, things of that nature. Mm -hmm. So I'm, as, as you know, I'm a social worker, so is it the same type of program, a uh, personal support worker, or is it uh, not different? Not really. There's not really counseling involved, per se. No. It's, no. it's really more, it's a, it's a one-year program. Oh, is that right? And mm -hmm. uh, it's really all about assisting the client with the activities of daily living. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, I just need to bring this up that, you know, when moms seem to stay home for a little while and they're and they're more, they seem to get more involved in their communities. Do you, mm -hmm. do you agree? Absolutely. And then they see the need. It's, almost, yes. it, it's mm -hmm. nice when moms stay home just for that purpose because yeah. suddenly now they're seeing what's going on in mm -hmm. the community. Mm -hmm. you no, know, and I'm a believer that moms should go back to work. Right. or do something. I mean, children are wonderful, but it's time for them to go on and, and moms to go back mm -hmm. to their lives. That's great. So um, let's um, start with, um, let's start with a caller let's, who John called and asked, um, what sets you apart from other companies? 
who wants to answer that? Oh, I will. Okay, you will. Okay, good. <laughs> sure. Well, um, the premier mobility model is really unique, and uh, I think what sets us apart from um, other vendors is the fact that we are able to go directly to their home. We're mm -hmm. an at-your-doorstep uh, service that, um, you know, we have a mobile showroom, we go to their home mm -hmm. and um, it, it's you know so easy to fit them properly with the equipment they need. Uh, we are all fully trained uh, in all the products, mm -hmm. which is, it's, is a really uh, a, a bonus because we can fit them precisely with what they need. Uh, another thing is uh, that we are um, our customer service is above and beyond. We um, I know all every company strives to have the best customer service, but uh, we live it. And uh, I, I always have a little this uh, I call it my roses story, and it exemplifies what we do for customer service. I. Um, I was at a, um, a, a little old lady's home, a little Italian. She was very short, five foot three, and her son called me to say that she wanted a scooter. So I, you know, uh, took three scooters to her home, directly to her. And when I got there, um, she lived in an apartment building. There was this huge scooter that was plugged in, and she, can't, she couldn't use it. It was just way too big for her, but somebody had sold her this mm. just for the fact, I guess, making a sale. Mm. And um, the, the son said she, she's never driven a car before, so... She, she can't drive this thing, so we need to, to, you know, have another scooter for her. So I had three scooters in my truck with me. She was able to try them. She fell in love with this little scooter, but she'd never driven. So her, and, um, my, her, her son and myself took her down the elevator. She was hitting all these people. It was just hysterical. And um, so, but she loved it. It gave her such a sense of freedom. She got outside. We went around. And then got her back up into the elevator. I don't know how we did it. So I had to go back to see her. Again, she said, my family's been so busy. Do you think you could take me down in the elevator again? I said, I would love to. So away we go again, and uh, through the halls, down the elevator, and outside. And then um, a few days later, she called me and said, would you follow me to the mall? I want to go to the mall. And I said, of course I will. So in my truck, I'm following her. She's on the sidewalk, this little old lady. And I'm following her in my truck. So that, and uh, got her to the mall safely. But I worried all day, how's this lady going to manage? But she called me later. I did it. I did it. I got to the mall. I got home. I'm so happy. And I was so thrilled. So that kind of tells you mm -hmm. about our customer service. And mm -hmm. is there anything else, Terry Lynn? I can't, like, there's... That you go above and beyond. Yeah. <laughs> all the time? <laughs> no. I know, but that's what we strive for. Yes. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, what a great thing. Because really, you know, we, we talked about this before the show, that, you know, it's nice that people have the opportunity to use products that they can stay in their home. Mm -hmm. How lovely mm -hmm. is that? Mm -hmm. And, I mean, people do go into retirement homes, I'm sure Absolutely. you both know. Yes. As you, as you both know. But um, <clears throat> it's nice to know that you could stay in your house as long as you can. So, so let's talk more about the um, more about what Premier Mobility does. Terry. Um, so, Premier Mobility uh, is a new franchise. I think we've said that. Mm -hmm. uh, we are a mobility and accessibility company. Okay. So, in simple terms, we sell home health care equipment. And we do this with our rolling showroom, which I think you saw my truck outside earlier we this morning. We did it this <laughs> morning. Pretty impressive, I, love it. I know. It's huge. Yeah. It's nine feet tall, and Fabulous. inside it's all um, equipped with, with um, mm -hmm. racks and everything for all of our equipment. And um, so we go and we do, you know, these assessments on, on people. And um, basically, we are, you know, we, we try to customize equipment for you in your home so that you can live safely and barrier free in your own home for as long as you want to be there. Fantastic. Right? There's no place like home. No. <laughs> I love yeah. that. You're yeah. right. There is no place like home. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, some other questions that uh, I'd like to ask you. Um, what um, are the safety assessment and why do you do them? And what's the fee? Um, okay, so first and foremost, there is no fee. Okay, there's no fee. No fee. Okay, no. so you just go into people's homes? Absolutely. Oh, wow. So, if okay. you call and you say, you know, um, my mom is uh, falling in the bathroom, mm -hmm. of course, we're going to go, we'll do our safety assessment. So. 
Uh, in short, a safety assessment is done by the cons our consultants, mm -hmm. um, which mm -hmm. Linda and I, and okay. the other franchisees. Okay. Uh, we go into the home. Basically, we go and we survey um, the homes and we look for um, concerns. So identify things in the home that might be um, concerns for falls. We take a uh, special focus on the bathroom, mm -hmm. for example. Bathroom safety is huge. 50% uh, of all falls mm -hmm. with seniors right. happen in the yeah. bathroom, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. So we pay special attention to the bathroom and we would identify areas of concern or need and um, you know we have a little a checklist that we, we work from, mm -hmm. and um, and then we move on to the bath or the bedroom rather, um, the living room and so forth. And if of course if family or the, the client themselves have a special area of concern that they want to discuss with us and they'd like us to look at, mm -hmm. then um, we do that. And so after the safety assessment, we basically offer solutions to these problems so that these people can you know maybe stay in their homes longer and and uh, and be safer while they're there. Now I see that you're the owner of Premier Mobility and Central York Region. Do you want to let us let the viewers know where does that cover? So yes I, I have Central York Region mm -hmm. and um, all the way north starting East Quillenberry, mm -hmm. Newmarket, Aurora, Richmond Hill and Thornhill and then all the way, um, I guess, would be east to Stouffville right. and everything in between. Oh, well, that's so good to know. It's a large catchment area for now, sure. Now, and Linda, you are Durham region. Yes. So do you want to let us know, the viewers know? That is Pickering, Ajax, and Uxbridge, and everything in between. There's a, a little town called Claremont <coughs> that right. I cover. Oh, Claremont. And, okay. Yeah, and, uh, you know, it's I, I love the up north. It's uh, It's quite quite nice up there, maybe because I came from northwestern Ontario, oh, and I, I love that small community feel, yes. So how did you guys meet? At our previous yeah. uh, employment. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah? yeah. So we were both uh, nurses. Actually, Linda was my mentor. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. when I was hired <laughs> at uh, our former employer there. We were both yeah. managers, nice. and uh, mm -hmm. she, she was my mentor and trainer. And uh, we hit it off. We yeah. were, were were cut from the same cloth. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, there was a real just, connection. Yeah, absolutely. That's mm -hmm. so nice. Like, yeah. I love I love hearing the stories of like how did it start? How yeah, did you that's yeah. It. <laughs> I, we <laughs> always <laughs> refer back to the day she leaned over my desk and said, "Do you want to meet for coffee? I have something to talk to you about." <laughs> so it, it was. And uh, then this was born. But yeah. we were prior to that though. We had spent a couple yeah. of years. Trying Talking. to figure out what can we do. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, we loved our last job, yes. but yes. Uh, we knew and that wasn't where we were supposed to be. Mm -hmm. We knew that we couldn't maximize our, our talent, if yeah. you will. Mm -hmm. um, we're nurses. At the end of yeah. the day, yeah. we're nurses. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, we just, we just want to, you know, it's not about the sale for us. It's no. about making sure yeah. that people are, stay in their homes. And I think that comes through. Uh, you know, people realize when you're genuine and you're not just there for the sale. Um, mm. You know, we're there. You know, we both have a passion to keep people in their own homes, and that's what we're all about. Well, I can tell just here on the set, like, mm -hmm. you guys are really yeah. passionate and care mm -hmm. about the community. Yes. That's very important. It is. It's so very There's a important. lot of people that are almost stuck. Yes. It's like a stuck. Mm -hmm. They're just sitting in their homes because mm -hmm. they can't go out. Yeah. Well, that's t and terrible. Mm -hmm. If you don't mind me saying, like, lots of people, they don't know what they, what they want or yeah. what they mm -hmm. need mm -hmm. because they don't know what's out there. Mm -hmm. So right. they may call us for A when really they need A, B, and C, mm -hmm. or they don't need, you know, it's, it's amazing what you find when you go into people's homes mm -hmm. and you're there for a genuine reason mm -hmm. and you're there to really find solutions mm -hmm. so that they can stay there longer. Yeah. And their whole surroundings tell you about them. I mean when you see the Absolutely. pictures on the wall yeah. and yeah. you know their pets and it, it makes them, uh, it humanizes them much more rather than you know and bad absolutely. numbers. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know so when you market your company are you marketing it to seniors only or are you, or are you trying to get to the family members? I'm, I'm hearing family yeah. members. Yes. Oh, oh absolutely. Right. Right. They, we, they are class Classified as our clients, clients. as well. Absolutely. Yes. Mm -hmm. Family members are, are very because oftentimes important. We, you probably agree with me, Linda, that the clients are just as or the the family members are just as much the clients as the mm -hmm. end user, mm -hmm. because the the seniors aren't necessarily making these decisions on their own, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. They're they're listening the help of their family members, mm -hmm. right. who who might be um, the ones paying mm -hmm. for the equipment mm -hmm. or they might be just there supporting, helping making the decisions. Mm -hmm. wow. So, 
Yeah. They're definitely an important part of the equation. Right, mm -hmm. absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, I just want to say, you, it's wonderful that you've gone out into the community and found a need, mm -hmm. <laughs> which I'm sure um, has been very rewarding for both of you. All right, we're going to take a short break, and I want to thank our sponsors today, um, Premier Mobility, uh, Terry Lynn Young and um, Linda Madigan, and we'll be right back. Thank you. Hello and welcome back to the Angel Friedman Show. We're here with Terry Lynn Young and Linda Madigan from Premier Mobility, Central York Region and Durham Region. So Linda, let's talk about the products you sell. Okay, uh, we have a wide range of products and from well-known manufacturers. And uh, like we had mentioned before, uh, we have a, every franchisee has a truck, but it's a beautifully wrapped truck, as you have seen. And its inside is all racked uh, to fit our products. Uh, they've, they've designed it just great, and we're able to fit about two or three scooters in there as well as other all our bathroom safety products. So what we carry, is uh, a lot of the bathroom safety products from grab bars to toilet seats um, or raised toilet seats I should say. Um, what else Terry Lynn? Just uh, any type of thing you could imagine for the bathroom safety yeah. um, and that's all in our truck and then we carry canes, walkers, mm -hmm. um, uh, several types of walkers, uh, wheelchairs and um, stair lifts, of course, we can't get in our truck, but we have... Those are custom orders. Yeah, those are custom orders. Oh, mm -hmm. So the stair lifts are really quite important and, and quite uh, used quite frequently for people who aren't able to use stairs anymore. So it's mm -hmm. a um, electrical or a <laughs> motorized uh, stair lift. It, we also have the lift chairs, um, which are the, the huge, nice, big, comfortable, lazy boy chairs, mm -hmm. or for a bit, lack of a better word, and they help them stand. They can also sleep in them. Oh, yeah. um, we carry um, uh, scooters, which I think I mentioned. And um, uh, people find that very, um, to help with their independence because um, a lot of times when men lose their license, they're lost, um, you know, mm -hmm. as when they get to a certain age. So this gives them a bit of freedom. And I had one old fellow say to me, and, and it's great for gas, <laughs> you know, it's because they, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's yeah. great on gas. It's so, on big, gas. so I thought that was a great positive mm -hmm. way to look at it. Um, and so, uh, but we are, we have, any type of product, any type of medical um, mobility product at our fingertips. We I think it would be it would be good to mention too that we carry an ex we're the exclusive carrier yes. of Amigo scooters. Mm -hmm. And um, lots of people say, well, what is Amigo? Yeah. Um, Amigo is probably one of the number one selling scooters out there. Yeah. Um, structurally, they're amazing mm -hmm. and uh, an industry leader for sure, mm -hmm, right. but we do have the exclusive rights to yeah. Canada to, yeah, to yeah, the Amigo scooters. Mm -hmm. So you're like the Volvo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we have the safest. Uh, that's right. Safest. Absolutely. Right. And like we it. and like Linda said, we have a variety of three wheeled and four wheeled yeah. scooters mm -hmm. um, to to fit every budget. And what's so oh, neat is important. they get to try them. They get to actually ride them around in their surroundings. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you know 
when we bring them to, right to their doorstep. So, And I think that's the good thing about our products is that you're not buying it off of a shelf and taking it home and hoping yeah. that it fits. Yeah. Or the family Hoping that it fits your, yeah. your toilet bowl or that the walker gets through the doorways, of the narrow doorways of your Victorian home. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. because yeah. everything, I mean, you get to try it out in your own home before you purchase it. So it's really, it's like almost a custom buy. Yeah. And it's no more expensive. We are not any more expensive no, than no, our competitors. No. And we put our own toilet seats on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we do. That's nice. They don't have to get. <laughs> Did you hear that? Everybody? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they do it. They yeah. do it. And if we, we can do, do it, it all. Then it, yeah. yeah we do it all. Talk about customer service. Yes. How yeah. nice if one of you arrive, yeah. you know, to the home. And I'm sure people feel very comfortable that, you know, somebody's mm. coming to mm -hmm. them. We they don't hope. have to go to them. Yes. They, they sure seem to. Uh, I'm sure yeah. you must get phone calls where people really, I don't even know what to ask you, uh, and almost in an embarrassing state, like, okay, I can't go to the washroom. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely, I absolutely. Up. Well, Angel, yeah. it's funny you say that yesterday mm -hmm. was Sunday, mm -hmm. and I was telling Linda this morning that I had a phone call from a lady um, at, the, at the hospital South Lake, and her husband had just had a hip transplant, or transplant, yeah. sorry, um, uh, hip replacement. Right. And um, so she called and she says, like, we can't go home until I have a raised toilet seat. Mm -hmm. So here I am doing yard work on Sunday afternoon. I hop in my truck and I met her at South Lake. Yeah. And I dropped her Love off it. a raised toilet seat with, with, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. with bars because otherwise this poor man wouldn't have been able to go home. Yeah, like mm -hmm. people can't believe they, it. Yeah, and she couldn't believe that I would go out on a Sunday. But mm -hmm. at yeah. the end of the day, we're nurses, and, yeah. and I couldn't, I couldn't, in good conscience, hang up the phone mm -hmm. and say, "Well, I could drop it off to you tomorrow mm -hmm. during business hours if you'd like." Like, no. That's and I had a, a daughter uh, say to me, you know, she had called me in regards to her mother and I dropped off a, a walker and the daughter came home while I was there and she goes, she just couldn't believe this truck in the driveway and I already had the walker there all fitted for her properly. She said, I just can't believe the service. She said, because I can't get my mom out. She's, you know, she's just had a hip replacement. It's too hard for her to get out and I don't know what to buy. So this is what we're trying to get across, the fact that we're right there and mm -hmm. people, we want people to know that we're there. So because mobility is the issue. That's right. We absolutely. can't expect people to come to us when they're having yes, mobility issues. Yes, yes, yes. Absolutely. So yeah. It's really a, you know, mm -hmm. we should be going to them. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I, I love that you're going to them. It's mm -hmm. fabulous. Um, so what's a typical client? Um, there really is no typical client, okay. Angel. It's um, anybody can be a client, okay. right? Mm -hmm. uh, adults, children, family members, yeah. as we mentioned before. Right. Um, Anybody who has physical limitations in their own surroundings or even physical limitations with their vehicles, you know, we have ramps. We oh, have things yeah. to help them in all that. aspects of right. their lives. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes people call us and they don't even really know what they need. Mm -hmm. They have a problem. So they call mm -hmm. us with a problem. Is there anything you can do to help? Mm -hmm. I don't know, but I'll come over and I sure hope I can, you know, mm -hmm. solve this problem. Or at least if I, if I can't, I can maybe point you in the right direction. Mm -hmm. Right. And like you said, like, so if somebody does have, have an operation, you know, you're not necessarily a senior. That's right. You could be like a middle-aged person who's, who needs a raised toilet seat Absolutely. for a certain amount of time. Yeah. So you have those Absolutely. clients as well. Absolutely. Yes. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. So um, when should these clients or family members call you? Well, you know, they can call us anytime. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we, we look forward to their calls. Uh, but I think Terry Lynn mentioned, uh, you know, even if they don't know what they need, mm -hmm. um, they know that they're, maybe their parents have some sort of uh, mobility issue, but they're, they're not sure what mm -hmm. they need. So um, just by getting that initial phone call, we can simplify their choices and maybe bring the, the proper equipment to them. And, um, and also, um, you know, with our experience, we have found that when people are discharged from hospital, that, you know, everything is very overwhelming for mm -hmm. them. Uh, you know, they may be still quite ill. They're, they're sent home from the hospital with some lists. And, you, you know, you know they, they don't know what to look for, where to go. So uh, we get those phone calls. Like, my husband's just been discharged. My mother's just been discharged. I need this equipment. Where do I go? Well, we go to them. Um, 
uh, then, uh, you know, and a lot of times that we find that uh, we would love people to call us before that fall happens. However, we get most of the calls after, you know, my husband's had a fall. Mm -hmm. um, it takes you know, those incidents. Yes, those incidents for the emergency to be, um, you know, to the emergency to be there, and then they call us. We would rather them call us before, but um, that's not always the case. And even, you know, I just had a, a friend ask me if her friend could call because her, her, her father's home alone. He's lost his license. He's having some mobility mm -hmm. issues. She doesn't know what she needs or what he wants. Mm -hmm. So I said, have her call me. I would love just to go out and have a coffee and, and look the, at the situation. Um, that one-on-one -on -one is so, so important. They, they love that connection. Uh, you sitting in their, their home, uh, you know, their surroundings, and then you're able to look around. Rather than them come to you, um, you know, we go to them. And, right. and so any call. Any call, even if it's just for a battery. I've had people call me for batteries, as mm -hmm. I'm sure you have, Terry Lynn. So any, any call is important to us. I think it's important, too, to mention that, um, just maybe explain mobility. Yeah. Because people might yes. not know yes. we use these terms. Yeah. I mean, not, yeah. not that it's a big word, but mobility issues could be anything from, you know, mom's dizzy. Mm -hmm. Mom's mm -hmm. dizzy and uh, she's on medication, but you know, or weakness in the legs, mm -hmm. balance issues. Th those are all considered um, mobility issues. Right. Yeah. Um, people with uh, uh, blind or, mm -hmm. you know, going mm -hmm. blind, cataracts, mm -hmm. anything that is mm -hmm. causing them to, th that might cause them a fall. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, those yeah. are all things that we Diabetes. would love to get those calls mm -hmm. ahead of time yeah. right. so that we can prevent the fall, prevent the hospital admission mm -hmm. or, or mm -hmm. you know, and then, then the, the overwhelming feeling that could, that follows yes. the discharge yes. for the families. But are you seeing more phone calls that people are right now? I need a scooter. Not like it's not like you know I needed a scooter for three years. <laughs> right. Now, yes. Today yeah. you need to come and give me a scooter. Because yeah. right, I'm not hearing proactive phone calls. It's no. Not usually. No, because no. people don't want to lose their independence. Okay, so there's yeah. a lot of denial dignity, there. Yeah. Yeah. And then what happens usually is they do end up falling. And I know hospital stays are sometimes unavoidable, yeah. but we, you know, hospital stays can be very scary. Mm -hmm. um, there's lots of concerns in the hospitals, like MRSA, mm -hmm. like um, mm -hmm. the um, infections, the C. difficile, you know, we won't get into that. <laughs> the list yeah. goes on. So, um, you know, at, we want to try to keep them out of the hospitals at all costs. Like, but like I say, sometimes that's unavoidable. No, but, you're right. I think it is a dignity issue. I'm sure you it both is. see it all the it time. Is. Where it's like, I and don't really want to call you and tell you that right. I yeah. can't go to the wash. Absolutely. Or, you know, that mm -hmm. must be very difficult. And sometimes yeah. people um, will use us to open that converse, have that right. open up the conversation. Like mm -hmm. family members, daughters will call us and say, you know. <sighs> Mom needs a walker. She okay. needs a rollator, but she won't listen to me mm -hmm. because that happens. The kid, yeah. you know, yeah, <laughs> they're not listening to their yeah. kids. But yeah. you bring in a third party mm -hmm. and you do an assessment, and all of a sudden you you show them the positive side of having that mm -hmm. walker, mm -hmm. and then they say, "Oh, okay. Well, maybe mm -hmm. that isn't such a bad idea, yeah. right?" And, and and so it just kind of opens the door to that conversation. Yeah, we're kind of the mediator, mm -hmm. so to speak, because a lot of times, you know, with the daughter and the, or the, you know, the children and the parents, there's, <laughs> you know, some conflict mm -hmm. there sometimes, and we are the mediator and, and kind of the voice of reason, and, and mm -hmm. they will tend to listen to us sometimes more than they will their own children. Well, people don't really like the word help. Yes. Right. When mm -hmm. I was in university, we talked about it as social workers. People don't like to think that they need help and you're going to help them. Right. <laughs> so yeah. it's almost like, mm -hmm. well, yeah. how about, you know, uh, it's kind of looking at it on another angle, mm -hmm. like, well, this will um, encourage, like I try to encourage people to seek, uh, you know. Yeah. I find maintaining their independence. Absolutely. Independence yeah. is right. a big, right. is a positive word right. for yeah. them. Yeah. We're living a better life. Yes. I always say, you know, in, in, in my world, like in therapy, you, you could live a, a better life. So mm -hmm. I give tools for you to mm -hmm. live a better life. Mm -hmm. You're That's giving what tools. We're doing. <laughs> yeah, you are. You're actually physically giving them tools. <laughs> That's right. Like That's a right. walker to, yeah. to live yeah. a better life. Yeah. That's right. No, absolutely. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's wonderful. 
wonderful. Okay, let's ask, let's uh, go to Margaret who sent us a tweet this morning. Is there any funding available out there for people who wish to purchase products? Great question. Um, yes, there is funding um, from a variety of sources. Uh, government funding through ADP, um, some local funding through the March of Dimes, uh, Veterans Affairs if you're a vet. Um, there, it is limited though and most of the funding avenues you have to qualify for. Mm -hmm. So with ADP uh, they'll pay for up to 75% but only on things such as the walker that we discussed earlier, mm -hmm. uh, scooters and wheelchairs. Mm -hmm. So in order to, to have to access that funding though you must go through an assessment that is done by an uh, ADP authorizer, so an occupational therapist. Mm -hmm. So we do not do that. Okay. Um, but we provide, we, we, you know, we have a, um, a selection of OTs on hand that we do call. Mm -hmm. And um, so they have to start there, have, have an authorization, uh, an, sorry, an assessment done. Mm -hmm. And uh, with the March of Dimes, again, it's an application process and you have to qualify. And unfortunately, that doesn't apply <laughs> to anything of the bathroom safety or, or anything like that. Some insurance companies cover some of it, um, individual insurance companies, and we work with the clients to fill out all the applications and, and go through all the processes. Right. Mm -hmm. So just in closing, the, uh, everyone can go to your website to be able to contact you both, yes? Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Good. So that again is um, premiermobility.ca, mm -hmm. and you can um, contact Terry Lynn Young or Linda Madigan. You know, I just want to thank you both. Uh, you're very encouraging. It was an honor to in, to interview you both. In a world that's very individualistic thinking, it's nice to know that you both will go out to someone's home and, and, and do an assessment um, without judge, judgment mm -hmm. or just like you look at your yeah. smiles. <laughs> yeah. I want you out to my home if I can't uh, walk one day. Who knows? Anyways, thank you very much. It was a pleasure to meet thank you both. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.